The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Morale Monologue. My name is Michael Morale. Okay, so if you watched my video a couple of weeks ago where I told you about my Spinrose injection, I told you that this video was going to touch on a very sensitive topic. But it's a topic that those of us with SMA are going to have to deal with at one point in our life, whether we like it or not. Okay? I said that there's a book out on the market that said it's entitled Everyone Poops. And I'm going to talk about bowel movements today. Yeah, it's a sensitive topic, but let's face it, we all have bowel movements. Okay? So when I was growing up, if I needed to go to the bathroom, it was no big deal. My mother or father would just put me on the toilet. After I was done, they would clean me, get me dressed again, and put me back in my chair, and away we went. I wasn't really worried about going to the bathroom if we were away from home, because we would just do the same thing if we were out, or say if uh, we had to go on a trip. I never had to worry about it, because I wasn't a, a large kid by any stretch of the imagination. But my father was very strong. He didn't have any trouble. Well, when my mother passed away in 2008, my father became basically my primary caregiver and we continued our lives. But I started thinking about what's going to happen to me as I get older. Okay. Now, after my mother passed away, my father started, he started showing early signs of Parkinson's. And I was really surprised he dealt with it well but he got weaker as he got older, okay? My father was in his 80s when he passed away. But I noticed that it was getting more difficult for him to pick me up out of my chair and put me on the toilet. And I knew this, and even though I knew it, it started affecting my life because I became a prisoner in my own home. I was scared to go anywhere because if I had to go to the bathroom, it might not turn out very well, if you know what I mean. So we talked to a doctor uh, a few years after my mother passed away about me getting a colostomy. And that's where they take the intestine and they route the intestine from the rectum to the outer wall of your stomach. And they pull it through your stomach, they sew it to your skin, and when you go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom in a bag. And my father was against it for a while, but as he got older and became weaker, it was more difficult for him. Because if he had to put me on the toilet, he would undress me while I was in my chair, which wasn't all that difficult. Then he would pick me up, put me on the toilet, and then when I was done, he would wipe me and get me clean, and then pick me up and put me back in my chair. But he couldn't get me dressed so he had to pick me up out of my chair and put me in bed, get me dressed, pick me up and put me back in my chair. Now, there were times that I had to go to the bathroom two or three times a day. And this was very difficult for my father. So there came a time when we had to make a decision. And I got in touch with the colon rectal surgeon and he was absolutely the most incredible man that I've ever talked to. Dad and I went in and we spoke to him because I was doing this more on a voluntary basis. Usually when you get a colostomy, something has happened and colostomies can either be permanent or they can be temporary. And a lot of people get temporary colostomies that uh, to give their body time to heal or adjust. And the doctor noticed that this would definitely make not only my father's life better, but my life better. And he told me, he said, Michael, I normally don't do these surgeries on a volunteer basis, but he said, I can see where this is going to make your life much easier. And he agreed to do the surgery. And so I had a, I had a colonoscopy early in the morning, okay, to make sure that everything was good. And then later after that, he did the colostomy. And I will tell you, that I'm not afraid to leave the house anymore. If I go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom in a bag. Nothing smells, there's no odor. Really, nobody would even know that I went to the bathroom. But the nice thing is, you can take that bag off, 
clean it a little bit, you know, around the stoma, and then just put a new bag on and go on about your life. And it's a topic that I think is important enough to talk about because it might end up helping you. If your parents or your caregivers are getting older and it's more difficult to go to the bathroom or you're afraid to leave the house, think about talking to a colon rectal surgeon uh, because they specialize in this and talk to them about a colostomy, okay? A colostomy usually goes on the left side of your stomach, like above your belly button and to the left. And then they have one called an ileostomy, which goes on the right side. The ileostomy deals with the small intestine and the colostomy deals with the large intestine, okay? All your food travels up your stomach on the right-hand side, okay? And then it travels across your stomach and it becomes more solid as you go further into the colon. So my bowel movements are usually somewhat firm. They're not watery. And I can tell you, it's a procedure that I wish I would have had done much earlier during my working career. Because most of the time, I would have to take my lunch hour to drive home to go to the bathroom. And trust me, to say it was a pain in the butt would not even come close to, to describing what I was having to go through. So if this is a topic that is concerning you, talk to a colon rectal surgeon. I think it would be something well worth your time to at least investigate because it changed my life for the better and I think it can change your life for the better as well. I'm not saying you have to get one. I'm not recommending any type of medical procedure. I'm just giving you an idea that if you're having the same problems that I did, check it out, okay? You might be surprised. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Morale Monologue. If you did, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel. We would greatly appreciate it. Remember, if you have any questions, make sure you post them under the video. And when I get them, I'll respond to each and every one. We at SMA News Today hope all of you have had a fantastic day. Do me a favor this upcoming week, do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. Again, my name is Michael Morale, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, and I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.